It says here you've never been enrolled in school before, ever. Yeah, my mother homeschooled me and my sisters, mm. and my older brother, but he's done school now. And uh, you live with your father now? He's got custody of us. My brother Ben usually comes by to check in. He works quite a bit. And it says here you have two sisters, one older, one younger. Yeah. Uh, my sister Dawn is technically older, but she doesn't really act like it. My dad usually leaves me in charge when he's not around. Is he um, not around a lot? Only when he's working. Seems like a pretty unique situation to me. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how you're going to fit in here. Okay. If you have any problems with your classes, you just come to me. Okay. Watch a trailer trash. I live in a house. I live in a house. <laughs> Hello? Give it back. Okay, guys. Guys, do you know when Dad will be home? He took an extra shift. <laughs> Give it back. So I'll get started on dinner. <laughs> Perfect. Is it on? What? Is it on? No. Quick, Beth, I'm out the door. Kitchen light is out again. Did you try the fuse? Yes, I tried it. Can you just come by? I can't. I changed my shifts again. It's fine. I'll just cook dinner in the dark. Look, I'm sorry. I'll try to come by tomorrow, but I gotta go. Can you feed Lily? Yeah. What do I tell Dad, though? Won't be that late. Come on in, everybody. Get a seat. Tim. What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. Fellas, come on. Let's get in here. Settle down. Okay, before we get started, I have a notice here that says we have a new student in the class. There she is. Please welcome Elizabeth Thomas to third period health sciences. Are you a uh, Beth or a Liz? Uh, Beth. Okay, I'm Mr. Cummins, but my friends call me Tad. Right, friends? Come on, come on. All right. So in health today, I'm going to teach you each how to peel a banana. All right, I know. That's the best I could do. Actually, my job is to teach you how to prevent STD. So today you will be learning the proper way to put on a condom. Stop, Tim. I know, I know. No jokes about the banana, okay? Let me guess. Cafeteria is a little intimidating for a girl who's never been in school before yesterday. There's a lot of students here. Yeah. It can be harder first, you know, when everybody's known each other for years. It's not any easier for teachers. 
When I first started here, it took me two weeks to find somebody to sit with in the teacher's lounge. Really? Yeah, and even then, it was the math teachers. Even teachers have a cool table, and I wasn't at it. Mm. Come on, let's go find you somebody to eat with. Um, okay. All right, welcome to the cafeteria. Okay, look, let's find you somebody and make you comfortable. Not as intimidating as it seems, okay? Try, okay, try them, okay? They eat lunch in my classroom sometimes. It's a really good group of kids, so. <laughs> Go on, give it a shot. Just don't embarrass me, okay? Hi. Do you mind if I sit here? Fine by me. Thanks. So, you're the new girl, hmm? Yeah. I'm Tim. That's Brandy and that's Rachel. Hi. Hi. So, is it true that you, like, literally never stepped foot in any kind of school whatsoever? Like, what are you guys, like, survivalists? Rachel. No, we're not survivalists. Boss waits for no one. If you're not early, you're late. Remember that for tomorrow. Yeah. Guess I'm walking then. There's nobody you can call to pick you up? Well, my dad's working and my sister can't pass driver's tests. It's not a big deal. It's just a couple of miles. Well, why don't I give you a lift? It's no trouble. I'm right over there. Uh, no, that's, that's okay. I can walk. I don't mind, really, okay? But just this once. After that... You're on your own going forward. Come on. Okay. You want to see something? All right. Do you believe I'm a grandfather? Pretty cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, they are. Ouch. What happened to your thumb? Oh, I just cut it chopping vegetables for dinner last night. Is anybody taking a look at that? Um... I was in Special Forces. So the first thing they teach is how to triage your wound. Let me see. Oh, well, it's just a little cut. I mean, it happens all the time. So. Yeah. I guess with your mom out of the picture, you probably end up making dinner for your sisters a lot, huh? Um, how did you... Who told you that? The school kind of briefed all of us teachers about your situation at home. It's not that big a deal, I just wanted us to understand why you haven't really been at school. Yeah. There. Hmm. It's good. It's not infected, so... You know, just change the Band-Aid every couple of days. It'll be good in about a week. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Really. Yeah. Okay. Homeward bound. Let me know where I'm going, okay? Okay, I left here. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Cummins. Who's Mr. Cummins? Um, Tad. Sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Looking forward to it, Beth. Yo, Beth! Yo. Oh, there you are. Come on, we're eating lunch in Tad's classroom. He told me not to leave you behind. Oh, let's go. Okay. Come on. Ah, figured this'd be more your speed. Your haven from the chaos of the cafeteria. Sir? Uh, can't you just do it? Is it the charger? I'm the temper center. Just the whole thing. Yes. Not a fan of sandwiches? Uh, no, it's just the bread. 
My dad forgot to use the gluten-free kind, and I'm allergic. Here, we can fix that. Do a little wheelie and dealing. See? Gluten-free. It's also flavor-free, in case you're allergic to that, too. Um, are you sure? I mean, it's a lot better than mine. My wife's trying to get me to cut down on carbs, and I really, really love bread. So you'd be doing me a favor. Here. There, everybody wins. So they call a symbiotic relationship. my first math test. Hmm. Good job, Beth. Who are you texting? Uh, no one. Just a new friend. Is it a boy? You better not bring any boys around here. I'm not. Well, she had a lunch she couldn't even eat. Do you believe that? Single parent family with all those girls? You remember, we had our hands full with two of them. Imagine three. I just feel bad for the kid, Con. I mean, there's nobody looking out for her. I was thinking, maybe we could take her to church with us. Well, I don't know about that. What would her father think? I think he'd be grateful we're looking out for his daughter. She's got to find her footing. Maybe God can help. Maybe we can help. What do you think? I think you miss being a dad. You've got a big heart, Mr. Cummins. That's what I love about you. Okay! That bell means you're in the wrong classroom. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's get. Good. Permission slip. Yeah. Permission slip. I saw that earlier. Beth, why don't you hang back for a second? Hey, I need that from you, too. My wife, Connie, and I would like to invite you to go to church with us this Sunday. If it's okay with your father, of course. Uh well, yeah. I, I mean, it's church. He'll probably be fine with it. Yeah, I think you'll get a lot out of it. I'll pick you up at 9 a.m. And wear something nice. God loves everybody, but Pastor Sally hates jeans. Okay. All right, now, don't be late. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, I forgot something. I'll, I'll catch up. We're very glad you could come. Oh, yeah, me too. Thanks. Thought you might like this. It's for me? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Yeah, now you can follow along. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Connie, lovely to see you. Hello, Chad. Good morning, everyone. That's what you think. Hello. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. dress is very nice, very churchy. Looks so much more relaxed outside school. It's good. Oh, 
Oh, it's so nice here. And I love the choir. They sound incredible. Kind of jealous. Do you sing? No. Not in front of people. Lil! What happened? This stupid girl at school. She was saying things about Mom. About how we had to call DCS on her. Kind of a lame thing to make fun of someone for. It was the same old stuff. Calling us white trash. People just really suck. Yeah, they do. And like these people don't know anything about us or what we've been through. They just make up their mind based on gossip. What did your dad say about the fight? He got home after we all went to bed, and by the morning, I just didn't want to tell him. I didn't want him to get mad at Lily. So I just had her put ice on the bruise and told her some stuff she could say to that girl if she ever tried to bother her again. You don't think I should have told someone, do you? No. I think you handled it great, Beth. But honestly, I'm really impressed by how mature you are. Sometimes I have to remind myself you're only 15. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. Look how well you've adjusted to school. You're an incredible young woman. And, uh... <laughs> what? N nothing. Uh, I shouldn't. <clears throat> Come on, tell me. It's just... I bet you look really good naked. Go on, you don't want to be late to your next class. Hey, um, you okay? You look like a... Like a semi-close relative just died. I'm fine. Just a little tired. Oh, can I ask you something? Uh, so, how long have you been eating lunch in Tad's room? Uh... A while now? We did it last year, too. It's just easier than the cafeteria, you know? No pressure to find a big enough table and all that. Um... Has he ever gotten, like really personal with you? He probably just feels bad for you. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, well, the stuff with your family and how you don't really have any friends. Nice talking to you, Rachel. <laughs> now, there's a lot of sperm at the start. As many as 150 million of the little suckers. But obviously only one is going to go the distance. So, a few hundred of them will actually make it to the egg, and that'll all happen in about a half an hour. But there's only going to be one winner. One is going to reach and start to fuse with the egg's plasma membrane. That's going to prompt the egg to start producing a protein to tell all the other sperm to get out. Have you thought about what I said? Elizabeth, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, so, as you can see... Elizabeth! Hey, Earth to Elizabeth. Oh. Coming hey. to lunch? Yeah, um, cafeteria or Tad's classroom? Tad's? What's up? Nothing. Let's go. Man. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, when you were in the Special Forces, did you, like, actually kill people? No, I can't tell you that. I mean, most of our missions are classified by the CIA, but between us... 
Oh, look at that. It's time to go. Oh, come on, Chad. You can't just leave it at that. You gotta tell us. Sorry, fellas. You think I'm gonna talk that easy? Come on, let's go. Here we go, everybody. Come on. Hey. Beth, uh, why don't you hang out for a minute? Come on, wake up. Wake up. You okay, Beth? You were kind of quiet today. Yeah, I'm fine. That's about what I said yesterday. I don't know. Maybe a little. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. I, it's just I get carried away sometimes. It's fine. It's, seriously, I won't tell anybody. Yeah, it's just when I look at you, I see this incredible, beautiful, mature young woman who has no idea how incredible she is. But nobody ever tells you that, do they? No. How special you are? No, never. And look at me. You are special, Elizabeth Thomas. I see you. Can't stop thinking about you, Beth. Harder than it looks like on TV. Yeah. People really suck. Not everyone. She this box looks okay. Picked up a double shift, so I won't be back before midnight. Um, hey, I was thinking maybe I could get a job. Just to help out a little. You shouldn't have to do that, Beth. I can take care of my own family. I know that. It's just, there's a lot of us, and it would be nice to have you around more. What about school? Lots of kids have jobs after school. I can handle it. Okay, sure, if it's not too much. It'd be a big help. What is so interesting over here? Is it a guy? No. I'm looking for a job. Well, that's less fun. Yeah, tell me about it. All these places want 16 and over. I think it's that hard to work a cash register and a drive through My friend's daughter manages the Thunderbird in Cambridge. I'll give her a call for you. No, no, I can't ask you to do that. Uh, no, it's already done, taken care of. Hey, time to go. You know the drill. Go learn. Have you ever been arrested? No. Drink or use drugs recreationally? No. Sorry. These are all the standard CYA questions. The job's yours. Tad called my dad this afternoon and vouched for you. Oh, well, well that's great. Thank you. You won't be disappointed. You start tomorrow? Yeah. Beth, I hear congratulations are in order. Oh, yeah, I got the job thanks to you. No, that's all you. Now. Come by at lunch. I got something for you. Okay. Oh, it looks lovely. You look lovely. I wish you could see yourself the way I see you, Beth. Come on. Let me show you something. I got it for the CPR course. I used to use it to take naps at lunch. I'm sure we can find a better use for it now. Hey, why are you guys
you guys eating so late? Dad picked up another shift, so we called Ben gets pizza. Sorry, do I know you? I mean, you look familiar. I just can't tell from where. Oh, if it isn't my third favorite sister. Hi. Hi. What's with the uniform? They didn't tell you? I've got a job. Beth, why? I wanted to. To help Dad so he doesn't have to take so many doubles. He could actually be around more. Just don't fall behind in school, okay? It's important. Relax. I know. Hey, I want you to have fun in high school. Make up for the time I missed. Don't grow up too fast, Beth. Have some pizza. Glenn free? Yeah, the toppings are. My brother has this idea that high school is supposed to be so great, but it's only because he never went. I mean, he just assumes I have all these friends. I wish. Well, high school's hard. I didn't have that many friends when I was your age. You're only saying that to make me feel better. I mean, everyone loves you. You're like the most popular teacher here. Maybe it wasn't always that way. It takes a while for people to see greatness. It'll happen for you, Beth, just like it happened for me. Lunch is almost over. We should go. Hey, let me see your phone. Unlock it, I won't look. Okay, let me see. Put my phone number in. There. Now I'm Crystal in your phone, and you'll be Frank in mine. Crystal and Frank. What is it? Oh, I, I just wish we didn't have to be so secretive. Look, people won't understand what we have. Sometimes God puts soulmates in different generations. But if you tell anybody, they won't us be together and you don't want that, do you? No. I don't know. Sure you do. You know, nobody cares about you as much as I do, don't you? Thomas? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Detective McLennan with Maury County Sheriff's Department. I need to ask you a few questions. Is there someone you can call to come along with? So there's been an allegation by another student that she saw you and your teacher kissing in his classroom. What? What teacher? I don't know what to tell you. It's just not true. Well, the student seemed to be pretty sure about what she saw there, Mr. Cummins. Well, the student must be confused or lying. So then you don't have any relationship with Elizabeth Thomas? I'm her teacher. That's the relationship. She's a kid from a troubled family who's never been in school before in her life. Of course I gave her a little extra attention. She needs it. What kind of extra attention? That's all. Me and some other kids eat lunch in his classroom sometimes. Sometimes he brings me snacks, the gluten-free kind, because he knows I'm allergic. Is this something you notice in doing for other kids? I didn't pay attention to what he does for other kids. Have you ever seen him outside of school? Church. What kind of nefarious things do you think I'm up to with a little girl at church next to my wife? Well, I have to admit, it's a little unusual for a teacher to take his student to church. Is it? To take a troubled kid to find a little comfort in God is unusual. You a church-going man, detective? Just weddings and funerals, Mr. Cummins. Did you ever give Miss Thomas any gifts? Yeah, I did. 
A Bible. It's the book they read from at weddings and funerals. He's just nice to me, that's all. I, I don't have many friends, and school, it's, it's hard. He's really the only one who I could talk to about how my day is going or if I have a problem. Isn't that what teachers are for? I have the students call me by my first name because I want them to trust me. It's tough being a teenager detective. All these emotions that they don't know what to do with. Then you take a girl's mom out of the equation. But you end up with exactly the kind of kid who could fall through the cracks without a little special attention. I'm doing exactly what any good teacher would. Am I under arrest? What's going to happen to uh, Mr. Cummins? That's going to depend on what our investigation uncovers. Ms. Thomas, I know you just met me today, and I'm asking you to reveal some uncomfortable things about a teacher you've come to trust. But if Mr. Cummins is engaging in any kind of physical activity with you, and he's betraying that trust that you put in him. You are not to have any contact with Elizabeth Thomas while we conduct our investigation. Is that understood? Hey, is it true? Is anything they said in there true? No. I mean, yes, but only the stuff about him being friends. Okay, nothing else. I'm not stupid, Beth. I didn't go to school, but I know it's not normal for a teacher to spend time with a kid outside of it. There's nobody else for me, Ben. Hey, you and Dad are always working, and Dawn is glued to her phone, and Lily is just a little kid, so there's nobody for me to talk to. Sauce. We've been pretty careful. I mean, right now, it's just our word against the students. Yeah, but what's going to happen to you? Nothing. It's all going to just die down. Just have to stay away from each other at school. This really sucks. I was thinking maybe I should talk to somebody. Like, maybe it would help me feel... Well, no, 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 no. You don't need to do that. You have me. No, I don't. They won't even let us in the same classroom anymore. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. This is all gonna blow over, you'll see. Is it true that you're hooking up with Tad? No, I told you. Whatever, okay. Way to ruin it for the rest of us. Tad? Beth, uh... We're not supposed to be seen together. I know. It's... Come on. Get in. <laughs> like, they're all talking about me and just staring at me and whispering and calling me names. And I, 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 I know, but, but that... Do I mean, you? The... I mean, is anybody calling you a slut? This is not going to last forever, okay? We just have to weather the storm. You can do this, Beth. I know how strong you are. I, I, I just shouldn't be here. I don't... Don't. 
Don't let them tear us apart. Okay, at what point does this become harassment? Save the outrage this time, Mr. Cummins. So, did you drive her home? Stop along the way? Do we need to escort you from the grounds? No. I'm going. You know, you... I can't believe Dad didn't take your phone away. What? Why? Because what happened with you and that teacher? Nothing happened. So shut up. Nice try. You're not invisible. But you are good at hiding. Careful. You don't want to be seen with me. Coast is clear. It's not true, obviously. Well, no one's buying that. Everyone's singing the reason that Tag got suspended. Oh, and you should probably steer clear, Rachel. Tad's her favorite teacher, and she hates eating in the cafeteria. Sorry, just wanted to be real with you. Look, everyone will move on eventually. They always do. Great. Never thought I'd miss homeschooling so much. Nah. You've got to join the world sometime. It'll be some days drive until we get to the coast, but I have a few ideas to keep us out from under the radar now. Oh, wait, what are you talking about? We can just get away from all this and be together. Think about it. Listen, we may have to rough it a little bit, but don't worry. That's where all the special forces skills come in, right? We could totally do this. I don't know. Like, what about my family? I, I can't just leave them. You mean your family that doesn't appreciate and support you? Just... My dad, he will lose it. And, and my sisters, I... I'm unemployed now. I might be under criminal investigation because you came up to me in the parking I'm lot. I'm sorry. I didn't... Like, what if they do the investigation and they just don't find anything? Then they'll have to let you come back and then everything can just go back to normal. Don't be naive. Look, it's not going back to normal. Not for us. Not anymore. This is our chance to be together. Not to have to worry about being judged. I love you, Beth. You mean everything to me. I can't live without you. I won't. I'll kill myself. No, I swear. No, don't say that. Then come with me. Please. Silent Beth. Sorry. Did 
Can you pass the beans? So, uh, I have a job interview tomorrow up in Franklin, early. It's for a respiratory therapy job, the hospital up there. Pays really well. I'm worried about the Corolla not making it up there and back. Might if I trade for yours? Hey, Dawn. What? If I'm not home by nine tonight, call the police. There you go. Thank you. Have a nice night. Thank you. Beth, I know you're scared, and I promise I'll take care of you. You have to trust me. Can you do that? Yeah, shut the door. Our new life's right out there. It's just waiting for us. See you too. What's wrong? I don't know. I just it seems like no one has any answers. So I'm just. I don't know where she was. So when is the last time anyone saw her? She took her break at seven thirty and just never came back. Okay. Did you try to reach her? A couple of times, but it went straight to voicemail. Excuse me. Hey, Mac, I think you'd better come over here. Elizabeth Thomas is missing. Getting the records for both of their cell phones any minute now. There were security cameras next door and at the gas station across the street, but nothing with a view of the parking lot. All right. We're going to need Amber Alerts in Tennessee and Alabama. Maybe Mississippi and Georgia, too. Copy that. This is going to be uncomfortable. Did Tad give you any indication of where he may have gone to, Miss Cummins? He left this. I didn't find it until early this morning. He said he was going either to D.C. or Virginia Beach to clear his head. I thought he had a job interview up in Franklin. He asked to switch cars with me. He cleaned out our savings. It wasn't much. Does he own any firearms? A handgun. That's gone too. Miss Cummins, I have to ask. Do you think Tad would hurt Beth? I don't think so. But I didn't think he'd leave me for her either. 31 years. FBI's here. Miss Cummins, excuse me. I'll be right back. Agent Hammer. You guys got here fast? Time is of the essence, Detective. 
I understand we have a young lady to find. Yes. Let's see what you've got. Tad Cummins last used his credit card yesterday at 8 a.m. at a gas station across the street from the Thunderbird, where he picked up our missing miner. He left this note for his wife, implying that he was heading north and east to Virginia or maybe D.C. We have to assume this note was written for us. We subpoenaed their cell phone records, but they've both been offline since yesterday. If he's not using cell phones, he's smart enough not to use credit cards. Tracking them isn't going to be easy. We're setting up a tip line, and we're going to get Amber Alerts issued in this state and everyone around it. We're already over 24 hours into a 48-hour window. So let's get at it. Let's find this bastard. All right, you heard the man. Let's move people. It's been weeks before anybody realizes the plates are different here. How often do people look at their own license plate, right? You're a natural at this. Look at us. We're a regular Bonnie and Clyde. You? Hey, uh, can you point me in the direction of the nearest supermarket? Thanks. Mm. Glasses look good. You think so? How do I look? Ten years younger, right? Well, I don't know about ten years. This is nice. Being together. I don't have to worry about anyone. Come on. Let's go to bed. That's who I have. Get out. Looks like our Amber Alert paid off. Tad Cummins was caught on video this morning at a gas station in Diamond, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. So we are right. He's headed west. Maybe the coast. Can't believe it. He looks like a completely different person. You can't just talk to just anybody, Beth. I need you to be more careful. Well, he asked me a question. What was I supposed just to do? Just do nothing. Smile and let me do all the talking. You know, the longer he looks at you... The search for 15-year-old Elizabeth Thomas continues. Now, Connie Cummins, the wife of the man who was allegedly abducted the teen, is speaking out with an emotional plea to her fugitive husband. Tad, you know you can't hide forever. For your sake and Beth's sake, Please just go to the police or drop Beth off somewhere safe. My family must be worried sick. Maybe if we could just let them know that I'm safe? No, because then the FBI will find us. You know what happens next? They separate us. And then we both go to jail. Remember those license plates you swapped? It's a federal offense, sweetheart. Wait, what? I'm not going to let that happen. We're going to leave the country. We go somewhere where they can't follow us. How? I mean, it's not like we could just get on a plane. No, not a plane. This must have cost a lot. How much do we have left? And don't worry about it. Let me worry about the money, okay? Can we really get to Mexico from here? That's what the map says. 
You know, we'll go where they aren't expecting us. Slipping right under their noses. I don't know how to canoe. It's a kayak, sweetie. Just do what I say and everything will be fine. Hey! I'm an expert in this stuff. Hey! It might not be a great day to get out on the water. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. We're just going out for a little bit. We're not planning to be out long. It'd be surprising how quickly it can change, trust me. We'll start back in as soon as it gets rough. It's already looking pretty rough. We've been through a lot worse. Come on, sweetie. Come on, we gotta go now. Wait! Stop! I just got the white cap warning. I can't let anyone out of the water with a storm coming. Can't have you and your daughter here getting in trouble out there on my watch. No, we wouldn't want that, would we? Very kind of you. Maybe you'll have better luck tomorrow. Yeah, well, we couldn't have it any worse, right? He said we could try again tomorrow. We can't chance it, okay? You got a good look at us. Not too long before he's going to see a news report. Come on. Well, then how are we going to get to Mexico? We're not, Beth. we got to find another way. Hey, you don't have to yell at me. It's not like this was my idea. Easy, sweetheart. I... I'm not angry with you, okay? I'm just a little on edge. I want to figure this out. Come on. Greetings. How are you? Good. You folks looking to do some camping? Uh, actually, we're headed up to this commune up north, Broken Head Ranch. You heard of it? Oh, everyone around here has heard of that ranch. <laughs> they live off the grid, like, like way off the grid, you know? Yeah, Joanne and I here thought that would be a great place for us, so. Oh. Yeah, I lost my wallet a couple states back. Had to cancel our credit cards. Oh, shoot. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, we're running on fumes. So I hate to do this, but I wondered if you could get me enough gas to get up to the commune. Oh, uh, no way that you're going to make it in time for nightfall. And folks are a lot warmer to strangers in the daylight. So, hey, wh why don't you just stay here for the night? I, I, I can cover the cost of your permits, and uh, it's not going to be much, but that should cover you for gas to get up to Broken Hill. Thank you, that's great. Hey, are, are you folks sure about Broken Head. It's, it's just like the folks that we get from up there, they're, um, they're a little uh, not you, that's for sure. Well, uh, Joanne and I here thought it'd be great to live off the grid for a while, so hmm. peace and quiet would be great for us. Okay. So have a good evening. Appreciate you. And good luck getting up to Broken Head. Thanks, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you. recognize us? He just kept looking at you. No. I don't know. You should be calling the police right now. He's not going to call the police. You can't risk it. What are you doing? No, you can't just go and shoot him. You can tell people who we are. He knows where we're going. He knows. He doesn't. He doesn't know who we are. Please, Tad. You're scaring me. Sorry. Sorry. I can't risk somebody taking you away from me. Here at Broken Head Ranch, we all pitch in. Everyone's welcome, as long as they contribute. No. I can hunt, and I'm a great shot, and my wife Joanne here is a great cook, so she can help out in the kitchen. Well, we're vegans here, so we don't allow hunting or guns. Uh, I have other skills I'm sure I can pitch in. Okay. 
I think you two will fit in here just fine. Thanks. Is there any evidence that Elizabeth was taken by force, or is it possible she went willingly? I don't know whether she went willingly or not. I don't believe that's something a 15-year-old girl can just say, hey, I'm going off with a 50-year-old, and... I just, I just don't understand why you'd ask that question. I don't expect Tad Cummins to turn himself in. I just want him to leave Elizabeth somewhere safe so she can be reunited with the people who love her. I don't want to hear the yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? All you two do is sleep all day. Look, we took a lot to get up here, okay? We need some time to rest. A week and a half and you haven't done a damn oh, thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You intend to eat all our food. Of course we gotta eat a lot of food. There's no meat here. You knew the deal. We waited this you long to be together. I have to figure something else out, won't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Vegetables are a side dish, okay? That's not a main I was married to a man who yelled a lot once. Get out! I'm not leaving. I've had it! Did you leave? Yeah. Enjoy it. In the middle of the night. Two days after he broke my arm for the last time. They don't have to hit you to suck all the joy out of your life. We're leaving. Come get your stuff. Hey, you two. Hey, you ever make it up to Broken Head? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, it didn't go well. Like you said, they're odd. Yeah, can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. What's up? Do you think you can put us up for a couple of days? I mean, just so I can figure something else out. I, I can't let you stay in the campground without a paid permit. I, I could lose my job. Man. Look, I really need your help. We don't have anybody else to turn to. Okay, well, there's um, this cabin a little ways up the road. It's basically just four walls and a roof, but you can stay there for a few days. Thank you. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's back the way you came, and you come to a fork in the road, you just take that left, and it's, it's uh, about a half mile. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's a cabin? Oh, this, this can't be it. This will do. Are we seriously staying here? It's either this or staying in the truck. At least this has a mattress. Yeah, but it's gross. It's just like I figure out the next step. This is all going to look better in the morning. Trust me. Come on. No, can we not? I just, I want to go to sleep. We waited to be together. Doesn't matter where we are. This is what we both wanted. No, stop. Really, I just, I don't want to tonight. You said you wanted to be with me, yes? This is us being together. Now stop this. Pretty sure I got bit by five different bugs last night. So, what do we do next? I'm working on what's next, okay? How about back home to Tennessee? Look, just don't start, okay? I, I, I can't handle your questions right now. Well, I never mood. get an answer. I mean, we're out of money. We don't have anywhere to go. It's like we're homeless. I want to go home. We can't, sweetheart. We're fugitives. I'm going to go get us some breakfast. See if you can adjust your attitude while I'm gone. FBI! Hands in the air now! Gun! Drop the gun! Put the gun on the ground now! Put the gun down! Gun. Look at me! 
We've got numerous firearms pointed at you. The only way to guarantee your safety is to do as you're told. Now turn around. Come on, one to shoot you. We got him. Got him. Walk back slowly to the sound of my voice. Keep coming. Stop there. Down on your knees. Any other occupants inside that shed? It's the FBI. I need you to exit with your hands empty and clearly visible. The only way to guarantee your safety. See your hands. Okay, Elizabeth. Need you to get on the ground. Get on your knees now. Get on the ground. Get on your knees, okay? Get down. Stay calm. We'll get you out of here. Get in there. Try and behind your back. Interlace your fingers. It's been weeks since 15-year-old Elizabeth Thomas was reunited with her family, and there are still so many unanswered questions about her time on the run with her teacher, 52-year-old Tad Cummings. Myron Berry, who called in the tip that led authorities to Elizabeth Thomas' location, said the two were posing as husband and wife. Berry said they seemed polite but reserved. There's no indication that Elizabeth cooperated hey, with... Hey, what is wrong with you? She's a 15-year-old girl. Leave us alone. You're on the lawn that's trespassing. Okay, 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 we're going. Get your asses back we're, to the we're street. We're, we're, this is okay, trespassing. We're leaving, we're leaving. Do your job. Come on. They're out there all the time just straight up lying. Like, when are they going to give up? They shouldn't be able to say things like that about you. It's slander or, or the other one. It's got to be a law against what they're doing. You know it's not true, Beth. They're not wrong. I mean, I did go with him and I didn't even try to leave. I did everything he asked me to. You shouldn't be here by yourself. You guys are all busy with school and work, so... Can't believe I actually miss it. What? Work? School. Well, then you're gonna love these. Some reading material. Unleash your inner lion? Yeah, I just took every book I could find. You don't have to read all of them, but if there's even one that can help. 
Thank you for trying. I just don't feel like reading. Do you feel like talking? No, Ben, I... I can't talk to you about this. It's just too much. No, no. Not me. This is way out of my league. But these books talk about ways that therapy can help. What if we brought in a ringer? Like a shrink? Like a shrink. Well, I guess it'd be easier than unleashing my inner lion. I know you've been through a lot, Elizabeth, and I imagine that the idea of unpacking all of that with a stranger seems unappealing. Yeah. The reporters are outside our house every day. It just feels like getting back to a normal life is so... Complicated? Impossible. Yeah. The worst thing is, which I can't say to anybody, is that part of me still misses talking to him. Not like being with him at all, just having someone to listen to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's understandable. He set himself up in your life as the only one who cared about you. That's exactly what they do. Who's they? Groomers. They gain their victim's trust and then gradually push them out of their comfort zone. Think back to when you first met him. Were there moments you felt uncomfortable but didn't know how to say it? Well, he would say things about how I looked. Mm -hmm. Make me feel gross. Yeah. But he was also there for me to talk about anything. Yeah. That's the confusing part of it, right? You felt that way because he manipulated you into thinking that what he was doing was best for you. Then shouldn't I feel better now? Shouldn't I just be happy? Yeah, well, if it were that easy, I'd be out of business. <laughs> now, should I get started? Absolutely right. Brown is not your color. Jerk. You don't have to do this. I could support us both just fine. That's exactly what Dad told me. I don't mean forever. You think I want to spend my best years living with my little sister? Seriously, though. I am happy to take on the financial burden of the household. Truly. No deal. I mean, I gotta fill my time somehow, now that I'm only doing therapy four times a week. Oh, yeah. All that extra time to kill. Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I mean, I feel normal. And normal feels pretty good right now. Hard to believe sometimes you're just 17. Why? Because I sound so mature? No. Because you look like you're 40. <sighs> now go, no. 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 We don't throw things here. Okay. Go to work. Okay. Go make the donuts. Bye. Have fun. Taddy's little girl. What did you say? I know who you are, young lady. You got some nerve sticking around here after what you've done. What I've done? That poor man has a wife, children, grandchildren. They all live around here. What if they get hungry for a donut? 
You should be ashamed. Orders come up here, tap pays there. Not enough people use cash to worry about it at the end of the night. If you've worked one register, you've worked them all, right? Uh, if you're unsure about anything, just ask. Do you have any questions so far? No, no questions. Nobody cares how many donuts you eat, so that's a plus. You know, unless you don't like donuts. I can't eat gluten. Uh, soda's free. So is this your first job since? Yeah, it is. I'm kind of nervous. Can you tell? Well, now I can. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how you do it. The judgy people and the jerks making comments online and online. Where? Well, I went to the same school that you did, and the message board on the school website, and just you know what? Never mind. That is not helpful right now. I just can't help but think Tad Cummins was treated totally unfairly. He always tried to look out for the kids, and Beth did everything she could to get close to him. What happened is at least half her fault. But he's the only one that gets arrested and fired. How's that fair? We're praying for you, Connie. Connie and Tad were married for 31 years before that little temptress led him into sin. I remember that dress she wore to church when Tad and Connie brought her. That girl knew what she was doing. Beth! Channel 6, got it. The dog shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Of course, sir. Beth! Beth! Oh, it's over. Damn it. Ben! What's happening? Tad Cummins is pleading guilty. Elizabeth? Uh, Sally Jessamine. I'm the lead prosecutor in the case. Hi. Hi. Why don't we speak in my office? Tad Cummins is pleading guilty to two charges. Transporting a minor across state lines with the intent to engage in criminal sexual activity and destruction of records in a criminal case. That's for tossing your cell phone and his into the river. That charge could result in up to 20 years in prison. For the first charge, we're looking at anywhere from 10 years to life, but that's up to the judge's discretion. 10 years? The scumbag can get more time for tossing a phone than... F it's not a perfect outcome, I know, but it will save you a long and arduous trial in which a defense attorney will do their best to discredit you and your character. People are already doing that. A trial will make it exponentially worse, trust me. I just want to be sure you're prepared. The judge could be lenient due to his lack of criminal record and his standing in the community. What, because he took me to church? He's a good guy? He's pleading guilty. Shouldn't that be enough to... Is there anything we can do to help? Well, a victim impact statement from you could help move the needle. It's up to you, but it would be quite powerful if the judge could hear from you directly, Elizabeth. It won't be easy, but... Good night, everyone. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Um, excuse me. Are you Mrs. Peters? Yes. Um, I was wondering, or I'm interested in joining the choir. I know your face. Right. From the news. It seems that man had everyone fooled, including me. 
Next practice is Wednesday night. Let's see where you fit in. I'll be there. We'll see you then. Great. <laughs> Can I get the gals make a dozen, please? Uh, sure. That'll be 1051. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Somebody seriously hired you after what you did? I didn't do anything wrong, Rachel. Did you want your excuse? You seduced a married man, took him away from his family, and then cost him his job. What kind of person does that? Have a nice night. Drop dead, you donut slinging whore. If you ever. Oh! Oh! Well, you bitch! Is this my last free donut? <laughs> no. I'll make sure that one's gluten-free. I just didn't want to eat these alone. Yeah, you got a hell of an arm. I'm so sorry, Gina. I just... That's it. I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. She files a report. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I know. You know, I heard what that girl said, and... If anyone deserved a soda to the face... Fire in the hole, girl. girl from school came by the store tonight. She said some things. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. She's always been mean, so... Does this still happen a lot? Everywhere I go. I was just hoping people would be over it by now. Like, stop blaming me and thinking it's my fault. These people are... They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know the first thing. You know, I just... Sometimes I wish I could go back. Maybe I could have done something before he got you in that car to go. It's not on you. You know... When that prosecutor brought up making a victim statement, I wanted to say no. That you shouldn't have to go through that. But now, I don't know. I think you owe it to yourself to say some of these things. To his face. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I just don't know where to start. We'll find it.
sure about this? I am. Well, for what it's worth, I think you're really brave to do this. Thanks. Miss Jemison, I understand the victim in this case wishes to make a statement. That's correct, Your Honor. Please proceed. It is um, very difficult for me to stand here and fully describe the impact that Mr. Cummins' crimes have had on my life. Um, the effects have been... Um, the effects have... Why don't you take a seat, sweetheart? Do you want to stop? Miss Jemison? Your Honor, in order to not re-traumatize Miss Thomas, I'm going to read her statement. Of course. Please proceed. The effects have been devastating and permanent, and they are not over. Mr. Cummins, what you did to me is unspeakable. I don't know that any words could ever accurately express how much pain I have suffered and continue to suffer because of you. These are not your words. When I started school, you picked me out of the crowd. It's not you how you talk. You saw a broken girl who was lonely, scared, and traumatized. I'm the you only one who ever saw you, and bet. loved because you saw what she needed and made her believe you would be her protector. I'll protect you. Your choices destroyed not just my family, but also yours. The truth is, look at me. How much time you have to serve I love you. Wait. I can finish. For the last two years, I have been picking myself up piece by piece and proving to myself that I am much, much stronger than you convinced me I was. And I chose to surround myself with people who really love and care for me. And because of that, I'm able to stand here today to face you, to tell you that you don't have the power over me that you once had. You can't hurt me anymore. Tad Cummins is a sick, disgusting criminal, and I believe his sentence should be 38 years in prison. One year for each day he kept me away from my family. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Thomas. Your excuse. What? Unleashing your inner lion. I am so ready to go home. Well, then that's where we're going. <laughs>